Welcome back, family. If you're new here to the ministry, we welcome you. If you've been here with us for a while, I pray that you're growing in the Lord. I pray that you're encouraged. I pray that you're learning. And I pray that you're blessed here at this ministry. Today, the Lord is saying this, move. You've got to move out of his way. Now, there was a similar word that was released not too long ago. And God was saying like you're stepping on his toes and that you have to give him the space and the room to do only what he can do. God is bringing this back around again. Look, whenever the Lord says things multiple times, even in slightly different ways, but yet the same foundation, then he wants you to pay attention and to pay attention clearly on what it is that he's saying to you in your life. We ask God, a lot of questions but then when the answer comes to us sometimes we reject it or we're slow to receive it because it's not what we want to hear but the Lord is saying this to you today you've got to move move out of his way and the way I heard this in the spirit was very stern and loud and clear like how it would be if someone you love okay let's say it's someone that you love and something is getting ready to fall or you see something that is getting ready to kind of trip them up then you would say move move you wouldn't say excuse me, please. Can you please move? No, you're saying it as a cautionary word to them. And that's how the spirit of the Lord is saying this to you today, that you've got to move out of his way. Now, some of you may feel frustrated by this word and feel like, well, God, I don't even know how I continue to be in your way or what is it that I'm doing that gets in your way. A lot of it is our mind. It's our thoughts. It's what we meditate on. We meditate on the problem. We focus more on the problem than we we meditate and focus on the Lord. A lot of you, that's the issue. God is saying, you've got to move these thoughts out of the way. You've got to move this heart of contention out of the way. You've got to move this unforgiveness out of the way. You've got to move all of this stuff out of the way so that I can do what you've been asking me to do. So I can do what you've been asking me to do, says the Lord. Move. Stop standing there and stop being in his way. If this is an area where you know you struggle with, maybe something clearly comes to your mind as you hear this word, you're like, I know that's me, Lord. Sorry, I keep overthinking or I'm constantly worried or I keep putting my hand on it. This is another area where we say we surrender, but then what do we do? We pick it back up, okay? That's okay for a little while. This is something else the Lord was saying. So I hope you listen. This is what the Lord was saying. That's okay for a little while. You know, we get trained in these things and we have to learn how to trust the Lord. We have to learn how to walk with him and to surrender and to live by faith. So yeah, sometimes we may pick it up and God says, it's okay, drop it back off again. But this is what he was saying when he said, move. You want him to continue to treat you like a baby. You're no longer a babe. You're no longer a baby. I don't care if you just came to the Lord yesterday. The Lord is saying this because it's stern. Because not only is he keeping you, okay, from being in his way, but he's protecting you. The Lord is protecting you. Again, in that example, if something is getting ready to harm someone or you're trying to protect them from danger and you say, move, then it's because you have an understanding that right now, is not the time for me to be so gentle and quiet. Now is the time to make sure that they hear what I'm saying. And that's what the Lord is saying to you today. So I pray that you would receive this word. I pray that you would bring it before the Lord and just bring your heart before the Lord and say, okay, God, what areas in my life do I continue to allow to be in your way? Some of you, and I feel this from the spirit right now, some of you, it's relationships. Like you keep allowing other people to uh, be in your ear. You keep allowing other people to dictate your decisions. Specifically, I see this uh, spouses and and partners, like boyfriends, girlfriends, like you keep allowing them to tell you what it is if they think that you should do. You've got to move. And that means sometimes you've got to make radical decisions. That means that sometimes, listen clearly, sometimes it can seem like, God, would you really respect this if I go against this person over here or if I stop listening to them because this is my parent or that sometimes you have to make radical decisions in order to see the change that you've been praying for. So receive this answer from the Lord today as he's saying, move out of his way. I love you, family. Be blessed by this word, but don't sit on it. Make sure that you move in obedience to the Lord. I love you and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.